Hey everyone, this is Timo and welcome to this introductory video to 30Bs. Now, what is 30Bs exactly? Well, first, it's an e-commerce software and it's completely free as it's open source and it will definitely help you get a web shop up and running in no time. So, whether you're a small shop owner who wants to venture into selling online or even a larger firm, 30Bs is what can make you compete and rank in the e-commerce market. And I can promise you that once you try it, you will love it. It's, it's fast, it's reliable, and has this awesome community and a core team that really, really does listen to the user base and its needs. So in this video, we will install 30Bs on a live server using two different methods. One is super fast, it's, it's, it's um, automatic, and the other is manual, like the traditional one. We're also going to use A2 hosting for the demo since it's an official 30Bs partner and thus recommended to run it. So let's get to it and start with the automated installation. It really takes just a minute as you will see. So I'm here on the dedicated 30Bs page at a2hosting.com slash 30-bs-hosting and they have different plans obviously. I will choose the Swift one, which is recommended, so I will get Swift. And I will choose, I don't know, something like a 30, 30 bees demo as the main. I will check if it's available, and it seems to be, so I'll continue. All right, so here it is, and I will choose one month price as billing cycle. I will check everything around here. You can see down here we have auto install application. It's already set to 30Bs. Well, they have others, but this is a 30Bs demo. So I will automatically install 30Bs. It's going to give you the admin and password credentials. And of course, you can add something else. But I will just leave the default options for this demo. So I'll continue here. And again, I will continue. And then, of course, I can check out. Okay, I will, I will stop here now since um, it's not really needed, but once you complete this, you will get an email with all the details to access your new domain and hosting. It's, as you can see, really fast and you will have 30Bs automatically installed as soon as you access. Pretty neat. Now, for the real thing, let's try the manual installation. The first thing to do is obviously get the software. So I have 30bees.com open here and I will go to download, download. And as you can see, the latest version at the time of this recording is 1.0.3. So I will download it. Well, actually I, I did already to save some time. So I will skip this step. But when it's done, you can just reach the folder, double click to decompress, and now I am assuming, sorry this is a demo version, <laughs> I am assuming that you already have a hosting space where to put 30 bits since you can otherwise go ahead with the first option with uh, A2 that we just saw. So I will now use FileZilla to connect to my space and upload the files, but of course any other FTP client is okay. This is a little off screen now, so let me just resize a little bit. And well, what you have to do is simply grab all the files and drop them in the destination folder. Now, in my case, it would be public underscore HTML, so I will just, I can just do this. I will not do it because I did before to save some time. But in case you're using Plask, it might be uh, HTTP docs as well instead of public HTML. Of course, you can also install 30Bs in a subdirectory such as, I don't know, slash dev or whatever else in case you want to, uh, say, create a dev, a dev website for the time being. Now, please notice 30Bs has a quite a number of files. It's up to 100 megabytes right now, so it's going to take a little bit to transfer them all with this method. Alternatively, if you're a little more tech savvy, you can just reach your cPanel, uh, upload the zip file through FTP, through um, FileZilla, sorry, before that, then reach the file manager, 
your uh, destination folder, public HTML, you can see I have my 30biz zip file here since this is the procedure I usually use. And then hit extract. It's going to give you the destination folder and then you will just extract files. It's going to be a little different in Plask, but nothing too complicated to deal with. Cool. Now we have all the files in place so we can access our domain. And as soon as we do that, we will be presented with the installation process. So let's go through it. I'll click next and then I will agree to the terms. Click next again. I'll choose a shop name. Uh, I'll just call it 30. I'll not choose the activity. Um, first name is going to be my name. So I'm going to use some kind of password. Okay. Next again. And uh, at this point, we have to access the cPanel again to create a database. So I will go back to my cPanel. I will reach the My SQL Database Wizard. I will call it Dev. I will go next. I'll create a user named Dev again, and the password is going to be, I don't know, something generated by the system. I will copy it somewhere just so that I don't lose it. I will use this password and then create the user. Make sure you do not skip the, the very last step, which is giving all privileges to this user. So it's 30B to Dev, and it's, it's the name of the database plus user. I'm copying this as well. All privileges, next step. Great, so this is done now. I'll go back to my 30Bs installation. The database we said is called 30Bs underscore dev, well, 30B2 underscore dev. The login is the very same, and I will copy over the password. Okay, test your database connection. Database is connected, we can proceed. All right, so I skipped ahead to save a few minutes of recording time. The installation is going to take around two to three minutes. So I can now access my, my front office first. Actually, let's see if everything went smoothly. And it seems it did pretty good. And then I will also access my back office here. Okay, so for security reasons, you cannot connect to the back office until you have deleted the install folder. So I will open my, um, since I have my cPanel here, I will just reach, again, if I don't have it, the file manager. I will reload the folder so that it fetches the new content, and I will delete the install folder. So I hit delete, and I will confirm. Cool. I'll go back and access the panel. So my credentials, login stay logged in. So here we have it. This is the 30B's back office. And I just want to show you and give you a quick tour of the main features. So the main thing you might want to do is going to the maintenance page, preferences maintenance, and disable the shop since it's going to be in development mode for a while. Since you just installed it, you don't really want people to access it. So you can just add your IP here and then hit save. I will not add mine now, but just to show you how it's done. Then to add products, you will just go to catalog products and you see we have some demo ones. Um, you can add categories from here and well, you know, just the standard uh, features of an e-commerce software and much, much more, of course. Um, among the most important features 30Bs has to make the site even faster, it's a um, very performing caching system under performance options here. You can see it's now disabled. Using yeah, use cache is disabled, and this useful page cache will just take your shop speed to the next level. There are several options, and I will 
uh, perhaps go through them in one of the next videos. Okay, so this is everything for this 30Bs introductory video. I hope you found it useful and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great 30Bs tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.